What's going on? Welcome to Barley Buds. Tonight is episode 35. And tonight we're trying Treehouse, uh, the Orange Julius out of Charlton, Massachusetts. Let's pop some pops, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. Tonight, tonight we got my buddy Justin coming at us from uh, just uh, outside Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philly sucks, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to start Oof. a review here. Mm-hmm. That's a lot ahead. Just like you had in high school, right? Mm-hmm. That's right, baby. In college. You, you were there. there. Yeah. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> 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 well, excited for this. Think of Justin a lot ahead, just like yeah, you really, you know, Nothing. Some things never change, eh? Whoa, there we whoa. go. There we go. All right, there we go. Who here had this beer before tonight? So I had this beer in 2014. Had. I remember because I bought my house that year, and our neighbor gave it. This is my first year house ever. 2014 is the last time I had this beer. Wow. Justin, you ever had it? I have not. This will be my first time, but it is a hell of a lot of head here. A lot of head. That's my fault. I give him yeah. a lot of head. It's, it's no. Hey, now. Back to the college days. Yeah. <laughs> Does everyone yeah, can for the sit, bottom of the can say the same thing? Uh, we got four, so it's a little hard. Dr. J in the house. Dr. Yeah. J in the house. I yeah, got it one fit. time, and I said, uh, there's always money in the trees in the uh, banana stand. And I was like, yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Wow. They always put good things. They had another one that I don't remember what can it was on, but it said, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. I was like, what? <laughs> all the movie quotes. That is amazing. House, when you. That's awesome. <laughs> good. Now you look good with the microphone, by the way. It suits nice. you. But where did you even get that microphone? Is that like your kid's microphone? From no, like- it's the same one. I'm just holding it instead of using the stand because I don't feel like <laughs> leaning next to the computer. <laughs> Sounds good. You look like a, you look like you're the on on site reporter for like WTNH. <laughs> this just in. <laughs> this beer is delicious. Uh, yeah. this beer, this beer is pretty the good. I've so Defo, you brought actually one of these over to the house one time because I was like, oh, I'd never had a treehouse beer, and you're like, what? And uh, I feel like I don't remember it at all, but this was. It's got that IPA whang to it, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's like flavorful and pretty delicious. I mean, I'm always a fan of Treehouse. Every time, doesn't matter any I've ever had, I'm, I've been a fan of. So, I feel Colin, like what do you got? Yeah, you got a score yet, roll? I feel like Treehouse. I I have like a score in my head, and I think it's gonna be like. I feel like I'm – Julius has, like, the, the, the fucking treehouse. Everybody talks about treehouse. They go to treehouse, and they walk out of there with, like, 9,000 beers that cost $12,000. And I'm like, could this beer be this good? And I don't think it's, like, good enough to go spend a billion dollars on. But, like, I mean, I would get it. If I was in the area, I'd go there. It's a good beer. It's delicious. I'd try some of their other beers. But I don't think it's worth the drive for me to go spend the money that – they get for these beers, which is outrageous to me. So I think I'm going to stick with a, I think I'm, I think I'm at like a three. I think I'm a solid three. I want to give it a three, two, five, but now nah, I'm going to stick with a three, 6.8%. It's a good percent. It's good flavor. I like it. It's just, I'm, I'm offsetting the hype with my three. I think, I think that's my goal today. I could play off rolling a lot with the hype. Like, uh, I'm usually a little tough on Treehouse because they just got too many fanboys that just give every one of their beers a five. Yeah. And um, I hate that shit. Like, I have had bad beers from them. Like, don't act like they don't make shit beers because some of them aren't great. Another thing is a lot of their beers to me taste the same. Like, if you gave me five of their beers, I couldn't tell you which one was what. But I will yeah, say... Yeah, like, you wouldn't be able to say, like, oh, this one's Julius, this yeah. one, you know, like... you. I There's will say Treehouse Julius, I think, is one of my yeah. favorite ones. Julius, like, I think this is, like, probably my seventh or eighth time, maybe more, having it. It's just, I don't know. It doesn't have as much as that IPA wang that uh, Roland talks about. A lot of their other ones, like uh, Green, has that a lot. 
Like, just leaves that phlegm in your throat. I'm, I'm going four or five. I love this beer. Wow. Wow. Going but the problem with me is I, I can literally take big – I can just keep going with this, and it's down in – it's down in like three that minutes. Is, that is true. I did drink about half this beer already. Yeah, it's not yeah, one of those ones that's like, oh, I could just, I, I have to take little sips. No, I could take little sips or I could literally just finish this beer <laughs> right now. I, I am sticking with that. Four it five. gets a high it's score. It's one of my three, favorite though. ones from Treehouse. Wow. What, what would you think that, like, if you were to say Treehouse, what would be like their trademark beer? Trademark, I say with green. Green? Yeah, well, but I don't, I that's if, not my favorite beer at all from them. I also bet if you were to look up, like, on Untap, the top craft beers in America, Treehouse probably has at least two or three in the top ten. They're probably, like, King Julius or Very Green or something. But so Do you think this is better or worse than, the, than like, Green or Very Green? I, 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 I don't remember, but I feel like I fell – I don't remember if it was King Julius or Very Green, but I fell hype into I, one of them. Where I was like, it had too much build up. Where I drank it, I was like, it's a beer. It's yeah. just a beer. <laughs> like, so then I shit on like it. Like other I was mean. It wasn't nice. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I don't know. Like I felt like this is one of the first ones I had from them, and it's still green for me. The score has dropped a lot as I've drank it, but Julius has stayed true, even with this one being like two months old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Two months old. It's from that- March for this whole time <laughs> at, least, um, at least they've been cold this whole time so i'll go very true. with treehouse my favorite treehouse was is the haze that was my favorite and that was uh pre that was when i was only really drinking bud heavy or bush light or whatever we were leaving a hockey game we were walking out of hamden rink and Scotty p had a haze and he's like dude just have a sip Obviously, pre-COVID, you know, we don't want to share now. But um, I'm like, all right, dude. COVID's over, man. There's no more COVID. It's gone. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> exist. It doesn't it's exist. Gone. It's done. It. No more masks. Sorry. <laughs> we, did, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mean to cut you off, but I went to a package store. And they were doing the little shots. I was like, yeah, we won. <laughs> we did it. Shots are back in the package store. <laughs> so I took that sip of haze, and instantly I was like, wow. I like Treehouse, and I want another Treehouse bear. So that is my favorite Treehouse bear. This one, I'm definitely closer to Matt than I am to Roland, and I'm I'm at a four two five on this one. I enjoy this bear, like this bear. It does have a lot of hype, being Julius, but um, it's still just delicious all around. It is what they would consider their flagship American IPA. I'm reading off Untapped at this point. Uh, which is a bright, juicy beer filled with flavors of mango, peach, passion fruit, and a melang of citrus juice. Soft, pillowy mouthfeel. I like that. And what is round- a melang? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm thinking just a plethora. That's like another synonym. Uh. A true joy to drink. I mean, it's got a pretty high global rating. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, what do we got in South Carolina? All right, what are you giving it? I'm giving it a 3.75. I think uh, flavor is nice. I'm not a huge fan of IPA sometimes, so I'm not the best to rate it. But uh, overall, nice flavor. Definitely towards the higher end of IPAs I've had. All right. What uh? What's your, what's your go-to style, Justin, since you brought that up, that you're not an IPA? Definitely more of a – I enjoy stouts, like, and also Irish ales, things like that. Um, that like season's yeah, over, bro. Yeah. It's <laughs> a hard thing this time of year. It's liquor, like pretty much moving to the liquor phase, um, as Chris has seen the last few hours. Uh, so, yeah, but it, it's actually very flavorful, I think, for an IPA. I'm not a huge fan of them. So, pretty good. Sweet. Uh, I'm going 3.5. Um, it's it's one of those where I'll gladly drink again if someone buys from me. But uh, if I'm going to Treehouse, I'm not going to spend money on this one. 
Uh, this is one of the first craft beers I've ever had. Not the first, but it's definitely one of the first I've ever had. It's, it is the first Treehouse. It's good. I enjoy it. Um, but if I'm spending money on a Treehouse, I'm probably going with one of their stouts. I'm a big fan of their stouts. It's I, also, I, want to, I want to say, uh, if you go follow Treehouse's page, when they post on Facebook what beers they have released, somebody in their comment section always writes down all the amount that you can buy and the dollar amounts and writes what it'll be if you buy them all. Like if you buy the full allotment every day, I don't know. I don't know if it's one guy or a couple people, but it is crazy to see that if you buy the full allotment, it's like twenty eight hundred dollars this day, or three thousand one day, or or an eighteen hundred. People do you it. You see people walking out with multiple hand trucks. I know I that's the thing. Like these, like these. They fan have to boys. go to a package store and they're doing. They're pulling some shit. They have to. <laughs> What is the maximum amount? Like, is, do they not have distribution? Like, you have to go to Yeah, no, out? they're only they, – I don't know about and now with COVID and everything, but they were always just at the brewery, and they weren't like a four-pack. You picked the amount of cans, so. Yeah. Like, my first time there, I picked, like, one beer this, three of this, five of this, and I got carded, and she's like, I'm, a, I'm like, 28 years old. Like, what the fuck are you carding for? <laughs> And she's like, you just picked really odd numbers. <laughs> like we had a card here. Like we don't think you like know what you're talking about. Because I got three and five and seven. And like not like normal number beers. <laughs> and I be four here. <laughs> yeah. I only want three. I don't want four. <laughs> three because I have, I can't. I just want three. <laughs> Is this the brewery that opened up the other location on the Cape? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Beautiful. From what I see, I haven't been there yet. Ryan, have you made it out to that location yet? Or has it even opened yet with, uh, with I COVID? Have, I know they were – I saw some pictures of them, like, in the building doing stuff. So I don't know if they're open yet. But actually, I can uh, – like my parents are down there now. I'll see if – when they drive <clears> – when they drive back this weekend, see if they can see if they're – what the status is. Nice. Looks like that looks beautiful though. Looks like it'd be a great spot. I mean it's gonna be an amazing like location. <laughs> I I can't imagine they're gonna be doing much brewing or is it just gonna be a tap room? Does I mean I've I don't follow them on social media or anything, so I have no idea. Well Roland, it's, it's huge. If you go to the current one, you like a lot of times you can go there and you can't get anything to drink on premise. Really? Other times, if they're slow, they give you like three tickets, and you're allowed three drinks, and then you got to go. What? So there's really no drinking on their property. I mentioned that the one time I was there, you, we couldn't drink anything. I promise. I've only been there one time where you were actually allowed to have drinks. Buy your cans and get the hell out and of there. They gave us two That's tickets serious. and we waited like an and, hour in line too. Yeah, the guy I was with got a stout that was like eleven percent. And they were like, all right, that's two tickets. And he's like, what? No, no. I, they're like, yeah, that's, that beer is two tickets. And he's like, what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> One of those sounds is good. Maybe again, I can't remember the name. I thought it sounded to do like what a night or a starry night or something like that. I know what you're talking about. I don't want to mess up the name either. But yeah, I've actually had a few of their stouts that were good. Well, there's one it's weird because the ones that normal. have the higher rating – I don't like as much as the ones that are lower rating. I don't, again, it's the height. People you. build it up for me and I get all yeah. excited. And then there is definitely like, there's, there's a stout that's called, that's what she said. That beer is phenomenal too. I that's their like highest. That that's their highest rated stout. 4.14. What else they got for stout? There's something with night or something. Then we got hold on to sunshine. Then we got in impermanence moment of clarity double shot that one's good single That's shot popular. i mean there's a, they i mean they've got quite the selection here i mean obviously this is all of their beers but did ryan give his score did i miss no. that yeah, yeah ryan and defo we need your score i'm a, i'm done defo went for a quarter okay yeah ryan's up all right so i'll keep it quick but I'm going to go the complete opposite of what Chris said. <clears throat> so 
I actually went up to Treehouse two weeks ago and was down in North Carolina, basically only drinking Treehouse beers that I got last weekend. <laughs> and this one is much better than all of those. Um, I did have a, bu- I had a different, um, a lager, um, actually two different lagers. So I tried to get other ones that weren't IPAs. Um, I got a milk stout that I haven't tried yet, but this, uh, this Julius is, I think definitely better than any of the IPAs, double IPAs that I did get. So with that being said, I'm probably going, I don't know, four or five. Ooh. Maybe we found the secret. It is not drink them fresh. It's let them get old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give it a month. Give it a month. Here's March ball. This was, was this three months old? March 5th. So, yeah. April, May. Yeah. About two and a half. All right. Well, yeah. I once bought a G Bot at a uh, package store in Guilford and way overpaid for it and got <laughs> home and. It was like six months old, and I was furious. Six months? And it was phenomenal. <laughs> it was so good. I was like, I don't ever want to drink g fresh again. I'm just going to put it in my fridge. Save it. This beer is global. Six, okay, four, 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 four point five. Four five global? It's their highest rated beer. It's Treehouse's highest rated beer on Untapped. That's the Julius tonight. Get a little glare on the can, but you can't. <laughs> Someone else maybe hold it up for me. Ah, there it is. There you go. This is the Julius tonight. It's six point eight percent. Um, you know, our high score was Rye the Guy and T Rex at a four point five, which matches the global average rating. So, I guess you guys are right there with it. Low score, of course, is Roland. Anyone who watches more than an episode knows Roland gets that low score or month whenever we record and hello again tonight three point julius consistency is key we got a guest sorry we got a guest yes tonight we got zoe bob ross nice glass (laughs) he knows who it is we got we got some guests kids coming in happy little accident yeah, Not the kids. Well, kids. maybe the kids. I don't know. Roland's got two happy accents. Yeah. <laughs> a fresh one. A fresh. How's it going, Roland? I got a fresh one. Oh, you weren't here when I when I brought her out. No. Ah. Was she a week old? Five days. She's yeah, four days old. Five days four old. Days old. Yeah, four day old baby. Four day old. Oh my gosh, she's doing. He's doing beer reviews already. Roland, the dad of a girl. I know it's insanity. Yeah, I haven't slept in five days. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up Saturday morning at uh, two thirty. Haven't slept since. <laughs> Who's you smell like campfire? <laughs> what do you Crazy. Uh, We're here around the campfire. Um, Sorry for the uh, distraction no, here. <laughs> Wives and children gotta ruin the beer. Always, they always they just ruin everything. Wives and children ruin everything. <laughs> <laughs> Glad the kids thought that was coming. Yeah. Oh, there's a sneak peek to our next episode right there. <coughs> oh. Oh. All right. Julius with the kids here. All right. Uh, that's that's it. Episode 35. One small sip and one jump to mankind. Drink. Cheers. Everyone. <laughs> Break them down. Cheers, Zoe. Cheers, Zoe. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs>